Hey guys, it's Brenda from brendaturner.com and I'm here to talk to you about undieting today. So I was giving a workshop in my new membership area called the School of Transformation. This is a place for you to come to transform your body, mind, and spirit at brendaturner.com slash transform. So I was giving this talk, I was talking about undieting and I thought, you know, I really have to get this on YouTube. This is so important. So that's what we're gonna do today. Did you know that the average woman will go on 136 diets in her lifetime? That's right, 136. It's a crazy statistic. And I wanna end the madness today. We can end the madness today. Why does the average woman go on 136 diets in her lifetime? That's because diets do not work. Diets don't work. They don't. So whatever diet you're about to start, don't start it. We don't need to start a diet. We need to change our lifestyle. And this is what undieting is all about. So undieting takes us from, we're in one universe. We're in the dieting. I wanna get, I wanna get a certain result. I wanna feel a certain way. I want whatever, whatever it is. It takes us from that world and we go into a whole different world. And we're like moved into a whole different universe of, okay, this is my lifestyle now. I'm no longer gonna diet. I no longer need to diet because I have a certain lifestyle that happens to work really well. So this lifestyle I'm about to give you, this is some boundaries I'm gonna give you. Within these boundaries, when you stay in these boundaries, your body fat will drop to a level that's healthy and ideal for your body. You will never again have to fight with your weight. You will never again have to count calories. You will never again have to count macros. You'll just settle at a nice, comfortable, beautiful body, body weight, okay? So that's my intention with this video and I know it's gonna work for you, so let's get started. Here's the boundary, boundaries. There's some boundaries. Boundary number one is we eat like a human being. So that means we eat species appropriate food. Just like we can't feed a koala human food, it would die, it'll get sick. We can't feed a goldfish like a koala bear either. We are animals, baby. <laughs> and as animals on this planet, we need to eat human appropriate, a species appropriate diet. So humans, from the very beginning, humans have been eating animal protein, vegetables, roughage, and fruits when it was available, fermented foods, and water. Those are human and species appropriate foods things without nutrition labels, things without chemical additives, things without junk food in them. We, as a species, we weren't going through the drive-thru. And I know if you're watching this, you aren't going through the drive-thru. They weren't eating crackers in moderation. They weren't eating, you know, cookies in moderation. So moderation is a huge myth and I detest it. We can't, we can't eat, you know, junk food in moderation and expect good results. In the undieting framework that I'm giving you, it's not, it's not the healthiest way to go about it. Boundary 1.5 is we eliminate grains and dairy. So we eliminate grains and dairy because grains and dairy are highly inflammatory and the, the grains especially have not been consumed by humans until relatively recently. So grains are highly inflammatory. They're irritating to the digestive system. They're, they're highly glycemic. Getting rid of grains, is great for your digestive system, it's great for your glucose levels, it's great for your body fat percentage. Getting rid of grains is so beneficial. You're also gonna be cutting out tons of junk food. 90% of junk food that's sold out there today is based in grains. Let's get into dairy just really quickly. Dairy is highly palatable, so easy to overeat, high glycemic, very addictive. It's a trigger food for a lot of people. We got things like cheese, heavy cream, whipping cream, butter, all these things are just highly palatable and addictive and really easy to overeat. Ice cream, I forgot ice cream. Um, so we're cutting out dairy and grains. Boundary number two, alcohol. I know this ties in with boundary number one is eat like a human, but boundary number two, alcohol. I don't drink alcohol and I highly recommend you take the leap with me and cut alcohol out of your life. I know that sounds extreme, but hear me out. Alcohol doesn't add anything to our lives. Alcohol is poison. Alcohol is junk food. Alcohol is empty calories. Alcohol robs you of your vitality. Alcohol is terrible for our skin, our digestive system, our liver, our heart, our brain function, our mood regulation, so much more. Alcohol just slows us down. So this is a boundary that I put up for myself that I highly recommend you put up for yourself. It's been great in my life. 
And never have I looked back and thought, man, I wish I drank a little bit more alcohol, you know? So that's a boundary that, you know, take it or leave it. But if we're getting into the undieting process and you never want to have to worry about dieting ever again, you can be free from alcohol, get it out of your life. Boundary number three is using carbs wisely using carbs as a tool. Eat carbohydrates on the days that we're training or exercising. Carbohydrates are a great fuel source, especially for women. It's hard for women to stay in ketosis for extended periods of time without really stressing our bodies. The female body is like a Lamborghini and we don't wanna you know, push it too hard. We don't wanna go too extreme with anything. It's a very delicate machine. And as women, we, we tend to do, a lot of us tend to do really well dipping into ketosis and out of ketosis. And that really does correspond with when you're training, eat a little carbohydrates around your workouts. When you're not training, when you don't really feel like going so hard on your workouts, maybe keep your carbs a little bit lower. A couple days of low carb, a couple days medium carb, throw in some high carbs, do it around your training sessions. We're talking things like sweet potatoes, we're talking things like squashes, butternut squashes, we're talking things like cassava root. These are all really great options instead of the junky grains that we talked about earlier. Boundary number four, this is the last boundary I'm gonna give you, is pay attention. If something's bothering your system, don't eat it. When we eat certain foods and they bother our system, your body will let you know. It'll let you know in different ways. It'll let you know in your energy levels. It'll let you know in your skin, your digestive system. How's your digestion going? So don't eat the things that bother your system. This is really, really key. Let's talk about boundaries for just one second. If anything I said just bummed you out, I want to I want to offer the profound effect of boundaries. So just having these things off the table really clears up your mind and it really gives you the results that you're looking for. That's my framework for you. I know it's gonna work. If you need some support in implementing this in your life and you want some accountability, you want some guidance and assistance, I have a membership called the School of Transformation where I'm helping you to elevate your body, mind, and spirit. You can come join me for live weekly sessions, for one-on-one -on -one support, constant contact with me answering your questions, my full course catalog, yogic practices, meditation techniques, and all the tools you need to really help it stick up here and all the things that you need to help thrive with your life and your body. So come and join me at brendaturner.com transform. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.